Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I got a special deal. I've got a lot of fish I'm gonna cook here. I uh, got hooked up with the Wild Alaskan Company, Wild Alaskan Company. They sent me a bunch of fish to try out. I've got some salmon, cod, halibut, and that's what I'm gonna cook today, some cod and some halibut. I haven't had, you know, some uh, decent white fish in a long time, so that's what I'm gonna try today some wild Alaskan cod and halibut. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, all. first I want to kind of introduce you to Wild Alaska Company, and they are what's known as a subscription service. They offer up uh, several different uh, subscription options on their website, uh, wildalaskacompany.com. And what you get is a couple different choices. You can get a mixture of uh, whitefish and salmon, which is what I got here, which includes some cod and halibut and two different kinds of salmon. So it has sockeye and coho salmon in it. Um, I'm going to have that for another meal down the road. I'll probably do a video on that as well. But um, these are all uh, fresh caught up in the Alaska area. They provide the premium wild caught salmon, cod, halibut, just like the stuff you see on uh, Deadliest Catch. All that stuff up in the Alaska area is, uh, is uh, wild caught, uh, sustainably uh, caught, so they, they don't overfish that area. So they, uh, they do a really good service um, for the fishermen, the community, and the uh, fishing uh, uh, stock up there. So one of the good things about it is it's, uh, the fish is, you know, is it came from Alaska directly to your house. So they uh, flash freeze it, the docks, and then ship it out to you. They all come individually packaged here. Each uh, portion is its own little package. And one of the first things I'm going to do is take them all out of these individual packages and I'm going to put them in a vacuum bag. I'm going to season them up and we are going to sous vide these so we can cook them. And then we're going to sear them out on our uh, sear box on the Camp Chef just to get a nice uh, looking sear on these. I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in the bag uh, with fish. I think it helps uh, with their, their finish. I'm going to put just a little bit of the uh, running wild seafood seasoning in there. I like that profile. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to overly season these and we're going to get a nice sear on them and see how this wild Alaska company fish tastes. I'll be right back. All right, I'll got these all out of the bag. I want to show you here what they look like. Very, very nice looking fish. These are the cod. These are the halibut uh, chunks here. And like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on each side here. Just kind of rub it on, get it coated nice and evenly. I'm going to use my Running Wild seafood rub. And you can use any kind of rub you like. I like using this because it's got a, a, a pretty uh, well balanced seasoning that I like to use for seafood. So just put a nice even coat. You don't have to overpower the fish with seasoning because uh, this white fish is uh, gonna take the seasoning really well. I'm gonna flip them over. And do the same thing on the other side. Just a little bit of olive oil here. We're not going to drown this in olive oil, like I said. We just want enough to kind of coat the fish. Hold that seasoning on. Kind of enhance everything. Same thing, we're just going to put a nice dusting of the seafood seasoning. And that's it. We're going to put it on our vacuum bags and we're going to seal them up 
and we're going to put them in the sous vide at, uh, I'm going to do 134 for about 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, fish doesn't take that long, so um, it's really uh, very uh, delicate protein. But what it's going to do is going to be able to cook that all the way through. When I put it on the grill, get that nice sear on the outside, and it'll be perfectly juicy and ready to eat. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm going to use my Abbott Armor Ultra chamber vac to seal these up. I'm going to use 40 seconds as the, uh, as the vacuum uh, time. It's a pretty delicate fish, so I don't want to uh, vacuum it too tight. I just want most of the air out, so 40 seconds will be perfect. And once that gets out, I already have my Innova Pro in my Innova Pro container already set up to a 134, and the timer's already set for 40 minutes. So I'm going to toss both bags into the sous vide, and then we'll just wait until we can get it out on the grill. All right, I want to talk to you about the Wild Alaskan Company just for a second here. Um, the Wild Alaska Company is a great subscription service. Like I said before, they give you a great fresh caught fish to your door um, from Alaska, cod, salmon, halibut, pretty much anything that's caught up in the uh, Alaskan uh, Bering Sea be delivered straight to your door. It's not uh, you know, going through many different distributors. It's uh, going from the boat to Wild Alaskan to your door. It's individually packaged, so it uh, makes it a lot easier. Um, if you've got uh, you know, just two of you, one of you, you can use uh, individual pieces at a time. So it's a really great service. Check it out. And while we're waiting on the fish to come up to temp, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my grill grates. I'm gonna use the Camp Chef a sear box here with my upside down grill grates for that flat surface. I'm just gonna kind of brush off any debris that may be on for my last cook. I got the fire going already, so that's going to uh, clean off of that. I'll now wipe it off with my paper towel, my wet paper towel to get any, uh, any kind of excess oil or uh, debris from the last cook. We'll get it cleaned up so we can get our fish on them. Well, here we go, guys. Just got the fish out of the sous vide bags. And like I said, it is delicate, so you got to be careful when you're getting it out. It wasn't in there very long. It wasn't in there very hot. And right at uh, 135 for about 35, 40 minutes is all it takes. But just a little bit more of the seasoning on. I'm not going to dry it off or anything. I'm just going to, it's got some olive oil on there, and we're going to leave that on to let it get a nice sear. I got the uh, sear box up and ready to go, so I'll see you guys out there. All right, guys, I'm going to hit the uh, grill grate here with just a little bit of Pam. We're going to put our fish directly on the grill grates. Get that nice sear on the one side. I'm using these uh, tongs. They're kind of like fish tongs, but you can use a fish um, spatula if you want to. Um, these pieces of fish are pretty, uh, pretty nice, so I didn't have to, they weren't falling apart. So I just go ahead and give them a flip and get a nice uh, sear on the other side and then we're going to get them off the grill and get them on the plate. I'll be right back. Well here you have it guys. Got a piece of the halibut. These are the pieces of cod. Got a nice sear on them. Didn't take long. We'll go take a piece of the halibut here first. Nice and flaky, that's for sure. Nice. For some reason it's not as spongy as most of the uh, halibut I get at the store. You can definitely tell a difference. It's not overly fishy. Like some of you know, if it was um, sitting in the store for a while. It's actually quite tasty. Let's go ahead for the uh, cod here. And cod can usually get kind of fishy. So I don't really like that sometimes. But let's see how this tastes. I know a lot of that is... Uh, comes from how fresh it is at the market, but this is pretty fresh. It's not overly fishy. Smelling. Very nice, juicy, flaky, tender. It's pretty good. I mean, you guys need to try it. If you don't normally like, you know, white fish because of the smell or the, the overly fishy taste, this is really good. Especially if you cook it sous vide and give it a nice little quick sear. Check it out, guys. Check out um, Wild Alaska Company. Uh, Live Wild is their logo. 
Check out wildalaskacompany.com to find out more information. Check it out. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and follow us on the next Fire and Water cooking video. I'm going to go eat some fish. See you on the next one.